So as you can see, what we've done here is, this is kind of a classic example of what happens in these sort of reasonably heavily stocked ponds, stock ponds, you know, just general day tickets, fisheries. They've got lots of fish in. Now, luckily the owner feeds these fish a little bit. They're still quite lean, but uh, so you can see there's plenty of carp in there. Um, I can see those, so it's irrelevant. But what I needed to know is what's underneath the carp, because if we have a harsh winter, um, you know, it can be have a real detrimental effect. People just fit, believe they know what's in these ponds. Well, we've netted the pond, and there's a shed load of bream in there. They're a little bit stunted, they're a little bit thin, but you wouldn't have seen these. No one knew they were in here, um, not to this extent anyway. And, you know, we've already moved about 150 pound weight of these fish. You know, you don't see these coming up and feeding like the carp. If you look how big the eyes are, they're, they're a little bit stunted, but they'll respond well to food. So we're moving them into the main lake because there's a lot more space in the main lake and it will free up space in this pond more importantly. So we're not actually taking, we'll probably only take maybe 50 pound weight of carp in here. If you look at the carp, they're absolutely fine. You know, no problem with the carp at all. They're nice clean fish, there's loads of them, but the, the pond is riddled with them. They're very productive little clay ponds. Nice thing is there's, there's useful species in here like the crusions, which we're trying to capitalize on really. You know, there's nothing wrong with these fish at all. Now the problem people have is, they just go along these lines with, oh no, everything's fine, everything's fine. Then they have a harsh winter and they lose loads of fish and they think, well, oh, it must be oxygen or they make up all these excuses because they don't know how to look after their fish. But the problem in this pond is these fish here. It's not a problem as such, but if you don't know they're there and you can't do something with them, um, they become the problem. Um, and it, it happens so many places. You know, if you've got coloured water and there's a decent head of fish, don't just presume that the fish haven't spawned and that all that's left is carp because most of the time it's not. If there's something underneath them, it might be tiny juvenile carp, it might be small roach, small bream, small perch, but these are the fish that need to come out, which is why we use very, very fine mesh nets most of the time. Um, even if we're not, even if we're doing big reservoir work, we'll run fine mesh nets behind them um, because the fry don't tend to try and escape until the last minute. And I've sort of developed this idea over the last decade or so and it, it worked really, really well. We've got a lot of angling clubs who who watch us do this for them but yeah the main thing is remember i mean look they're still breeding there's the odd small rud small bream there are small carp coming through so if you're not keeping on top of these fish and people say let's put perch in and put pike in to control them it doesn't work you can do it all day long it doesn't work so every now every year you just crop the fish baby carp see they're trying to come through and we'd rather have the pond full of baby carp rather than small bream but having more than one pond you can adjust the stocks to suit and, and get into that mindset of, of harvesting your own fish and moving your own fish around and it stops you having to spend money on them. And that's it really. So we'll now move these across to the, the main lake which frees up a bit of space in here so over the winter you can sleep easy and not worry about your fish stocks. Simple. No magic potions, nothing else. Just, we'll probably introduce a bit of our barley feed in here over the winter which is just simple, really simple pelleted barley which is easy for them to digest because there is the biomass is high as it is with all these ponds. It's fairly typical of a of, of a day ticket type situation so um you know it's worth bearing that in mind let's put 